Well, it's a, a blessing to be in the play <coughs> to be in the playoffs. First of all, and then second of all, it's a blessing to to uh, try to uh, do something a whole lot better than we did the first time. You know, uh, we call that grace to be able to uh, to uh, respond. Uh, hopefully differently to a similar situation than, than the regular season. And so we know we're playing against an excellent football team. We know that they are very capable. <coughs> we know they do a lot of things that uh, are uh, exceptional. And uh, just like they said the first time, you know, they beat us in all three phases of the game. And, and uh, so we – we uh, have got a, a great challenge on our hands. How, how much does the taste of that game linger uh, throughout the, the rest of the season? Well, you know, you don't live in the past. You don't talk about the past. And uh, if you start talking about the past, you're going to miss where you are right now. And uh, so we don't do that much. And uh, But I think, uh, I think all of us, uh, as soon as that game was over, uh, sure would like to have played it over, you know, like to play it again. And uh, so here we are, we get an opportunity to do that. So um, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for us. Miles Freeman, their starting quarterback for much of the year, went down in uh, the last time that Carson Newman played him, and the various Jones has been the quarterback since. Uh, what's different about the offense with him leading the player? Is there anything? Well, uh, Probably uh, <coughs> they may be reading it a little bit more. I don't know. Hard to tell, but uh, they're trying to throw it, uh, mix in a throw quite a bit more, looks like, at, at least against a couple of people. Uh, they're, he's big and he's fast. We know, he, he know, he, we know he's big and fast because he outran all of us two years ago here, and, uh, or last year here. And, uh, he, he started the game against us the first game we played him last year in, uh, in the regular season. And he, uh, he's a very, very capable football player and a uh, big, talented athlete. And uh, so, uh, and as best I can tell, uh, is really executing the offense well for him. How, how's your team's mentality, well-being now that you're going into 13 consecutive Well, we're banged up physically, but I think uh, mentally, I think we're a step ahead of, I think we've made that progress that we have been talking about, especially the last four weeks. I think instead of doing this, I think we actually have done this the last four weeks. And that's what we've been preaching and talking about from the very beginning, you know. Uh, let's quit, uh, let's quit doing a, uh, let's get off the roller coaster, especially uh, mentally and let's, let's think right. Let's don't do stinking thinking. Let's think right and let's go play right. And uh, and I think we've made some progress with that the last uh, uh, four weeks. Has it been perfect? Absolutely not. Uh, has there been some major mistakes? Well, look at two kickoff returns last week. Uh, look at a 60-yard post pattern. Uh, the week before, look at the, the uh, look at penalties the last two weeks, you know, and uh, but um, but we're making progress, I think. How would you categorize your defense? Maybe they allow some points here and there, but very opportunistic. And uh, like last week, they didn't give up two of the touchdowns that went on the board. Well, I thought they did a great job last week. We were playing a very, very talented football team that uh, scored 31 against us, uh, uh, offensively 31 against us uh, two weeks prior. And this time, they only scored two touchdowns against us. And so that was. Uh, uh, I thought a major uh, went from 31 to 14, and I thought that was a major breakthrough. And uh, so uh, they're they're getting they're getting better at the right time, I think. And of course, you know, Lenore Ryan uh, creates a little bit different uh, situation. You know, you you got to play cut blocks. You got to play uh, getting uh, uh, three people in front of the football. Uh, 
you know, it's just a different ball game. And so uh, hopefully we'll be able to respond to that. Last time you played with Lamar Ryan, there was a little more emphasis on your, uh, on your passing game. What are you going to do maybe differently or add this week against Lamar Ryan? Well, I hope it will throw it better and we'll catch it better and we'll block it better. That's what I'm hoping. What about the job of their defense? As impressive as it is, you've seen statistically this year, but with the, a lot of kids that are undersized, how do they do it and be successful? Well, they're quick and very quick and, ex and explosive, very explosive, and they're very well coached. They don't they don't beat themselves. They don't make mistakes. They uh, they don't miss tackles. Uh, you know, they're just an exceptional. Uh, defensive football team, and um, uh, I would say be pretty confident line up against us because they did a great job against us the first time. Psychologically, last week you had a lot that went against you. How much of that is for you this week, considering <coughs> uh, what happened in the previous meeting? Well, I hope that we're excited about uh, uh, making a little better showing than we did the first time we played against them. Um, how much of that psychological, uh, you know, I I know it's the same team playing the same team. And so, you know, again, it comes down to uh, how far does uh, thinking get you? Uh, I know what believe it, what we believe is very important and it probably affects what we think, but uh, eventually we got to go out and play. You know, it don't matter what we think, you know, it matters how we play. And so uh, I think we'll play, uh, I think we'll play excited. I think we'll play uh, wanting to uh, uh, go out and do the best we can to honor the Lord against a good football team. They got to the edges a couple times in the previous meeting and had success, especially with uh, Spears and Duncan. How do you prevent them from? getting that corner and cutting it upfield for 20-plus yard runs and catching. Well, it's, uh, their blocking was better than our getting off of blocks. And uh, so, you know, the key is don't get blocked and make tackles. That's, that's the name of the defensive football. You know, is if you do get blocked, get off of blocks and go make tackles. And uh, be in a bad humor when you get there.